van started making a funny noise when I put on the brakes. So the service center said I had to remove all the stuff in the cargo area so they could do a diagnostic and figure out how to fix it. So I had to take everything out of the van. This is a lesson learned for van lifers is don't build permanent stuff into your van. I'm so glad that I built everything so I can remove it all. Well, there it is. I got most of the stuff out, but I'm going camping, so I needed some stuff still. But I got the bed platform out because a friend helped me. And I got it all serviced so the crazy scraping noise when I break isn't happening anymore. But the door open light has always been on for a year, even though the doors were closed. But I found out because they ran a little diagnostic with their computer and found out which door it was that wasn't closing well enough because on this Nissan Envy the door open light doesn't tell you which door is open it just says one of them but I never knew which one so I figured out well the Nissan car service repair place figured out it's this back door here because of this piece of wood and I had another piece of wood there that was kind of cosmetic but was getting in the way of the door closing hard enough so I took it out and there's this little place where the paint was rubbing off and rusting so I put that there maybe as a temporary fix or permanent what can you not fix with metal tape but it's great it's better than duct tape that metal tape but anyways I just paid them like $82 just to tell me that I messed up my own van when I built it out and made it so the door doesn't close all the way. Well, there it is. That, that door open light has been on for like a year and I never knew which door it was and I just didn't ever go get it fixed. But there it is. The one year mystery of the door open light. $82 later just to tell me that I... <laughs> gotten the wood in my own way of the door. So now you have to slam the door real hard to make it close all the way. There. And that makes the door open light go off and the doors lock when I go down the road. There it is, two hours later and I got everything back in the van a lot neater than it used to be in there. So I really recommend spring cleaning for all the van lifers. And now Wonderland is all ready to go look at the piece of property I'm thinking of buying. Ooh. Hello everyone, Allison here, and this is my van called Wonderland. If you're a millennial and beyond looking to become a Rome owner, maybe retire early and see the wonderlands of the wild, then this is the place for you. Remember to like, subscribe, and save this video to all of your van life and Rome life playlists. For more information in less time, adjust your playback settings to watch these videos on 1.5 speed. If you'd like to follow my adventure or you need a consultant to help you get from a house that doesn't move into a home that does, then visit my website at www.alisonwonderland.info. See you in Wonderland! Yeah.